everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, this is going to sound weird, but we're in Missoula and we're picking up a load of cattle. <laughs> and you might ask, Goggles, how is that possible? There's no uh, stockyard in Missoula. Well, there's going to be. And I'm just sort of trying it out. This is from uh, Recon Lobster and his... Um, Montana expansion in the works uh, so he's added this stockyard um, he says it's pretty much where it would be in the actual in real life so that's kind of cool we got a load of black angus here and we're heading off to uh, Boise Idaho with it so fair jot so we should get going here <clears throat> and uh, I'll talk a bit about the skin here on the way in a second. It's Rutus 389, and uh, got a new skin going on it here. It's the uh, After 100 yards, turn left. Deer Ridge, Deer Lodge Ranch. Turn uh, left. Once we get out on the highway here, I'll tell you a bit about it. for a gear that didn't exist there. I went into what what hole was that on my shifter? Seventh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, yeah, I was mentioning in a previous video that I do a little research on the ranching history uh, in Montana. And so what I found out was uh, the first recognized ranch in Montana was, I think, 1850, 1855. And I uh, can't remember the name of it. It was a couple of dudes' names like Grant and something, whatever, Grant that being a last name, and um, it was in the uh, Deer Ridge Valley, which would be just south of uh, Missoula here, west of Butte, and uh, just going to jump in and see where we're going. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. So anyway, um, So I looked up uh, Deer Ridge Ranch, and there wasn't one, so I figured I'd make it Deer Ridge Ranch, so we're not stepping on anybody's toes, and uh, it's got a historical significance, and for a uh, town, I made it Anaconda, Montana, which is just south of, uh, might be at the south southern edge of this Deer Ridge Valley. So that's how we came up with this one. Oh. Come in there. Uh, and so those swoops on the side of the truck, they represent uh, steer horns. I think we may have done, well, part of this trip before for sure. That's that Highway 12 thing. Uh oh, they're really yellow.
Yeah, we'll try and uh, see if I... Oh, look at two cars the same in a row here. Are they supposed to be BMWs? Looks like it. Yeah, we'll try and uh, run from outside for a little bit so we can see what's going on and not have an accident. But yeah, this skin uh, still needs a little bit of work, not much. Um, I was thinking of making a two-tone so you can paint underneath the uh, horns. Or if I made that a fixed color and then you can paint above, but I kind of thought, well, why not for now just put it out in a fixed color and you can make it whatever you want. If you want it black, it looks pretty good black or red. Oh, I got... Go I was getting nailed by the scale. That's a left turn for the scale. Well, I'll be horn swoggled. After 50 yards, turn right. Sorry, turn sweetie. Right. <laughs> it's my turn to mess her up. Uh, payback's fair game there, Lori. So where's the scale way around the corner there, okay? Black Angus cattle on here. Bulls, actually, it says. I guess somebody's got a breeding program going on. Um, Black Angus bulls. So that's appropriate because I was reading up on what kind of cattle were popular in uh, western Montana, and uh, Black Angus was one of them. Limousines. Um, what else? Yeah. Uh, did you, did you, 75,000. Oh, that's not too heavy. So, um, yeah, and, uh, you know, Black Angus was chief among them, so there we go. Got an appropriate load from an appropriate location. That's awesome. She wanted us to turn right, so we're going straight through that light. I was going to go green. No, nope. the other guys. Keep right. After 50 yards, go straight. Go straight. There's that old trailer again with the uh, old Chevys on it. Well, Chevy trucks. It's kind of cool. I think it has like a 53 or something on the back. boys in the back. Get a few wobbles in the road here. Get you around. Oh, 
Boy, we're getting nailed by everything here. We got the lane closure, got a way scale. <laughs> my mom was uh, my mom was the oldest of seven, and her littlest sibling was uh, a gal, and uh, Aunt Ethley. And uh, when she was a little wee girl, she, uh, Grandma was trying to get Ethelie to do something or whatever, and she's trying to hurry her along. And Ethelie says to her, but Mama, the hurrier I go, the behind her I get. <laughs> uh, kids. That's pretty cute. Sixty in here, of course. You don't recognize the sound by now. <laughs> Eighteen speed with three thirty-six gears in the back. that highway 12 oh gee let's look at it get in and look at the map so that route back there gotta gotta drive down there is this something about some scenic route that's on the to-do list i drive inside for a little bit i drive a lot better in here and uh we are in a bit of a hurry we got a windy road we don't do that so well from the outside Try the second stage of Jake. First stage. That's pretty mellow. Glad I, I probably mentioned it last time I was in this Ruta truck. It was the uh, yeah, time before that. <laughs> uh, I like this uh, full gauge package. It's nice. Nice to have. And as I've complained about before, the zip ties on that mirror bracket drives me nuts. Not the fact that there's zip ties there, it's that they're not trimmed off flush. It's a real flesh eater there. Try to get in around there and keep the stainless on the mirrors clean. Sagging your arm on there, yell. That would be painful. That's pretty, pretty nice here.
another way station already. That's why I have that mod in there. Is you get nailed with so many way stations, especially crossing a state border. Because quite quite often you'll get one leaving and you'll get one entering. Turn left. The last time we came this way, we went straight on through. So this will be something new. Take a minute, look at the map. See what we got going on here. So this would be existing road because this site was there before. So what's new is from where we just turned left. So that's new there. So we're done with the new, but let's enjoy it anyway. Let me get a peek at that the cattle in there. Uh, they're black uh, Angus, all right. Unlike that time where <laughs> we were hauling, uh, theoretically, it was uh, Swiss currencies or I don't know, Swiss something. Swiss brown cows, I think they called it. And uh, they were Holsteins. <laughs> uh, they commented at the time the uh, of disappointment of the people we were delivering to. Dad would say, a situation looks like the north end of a cow going south. So, um, yeah, as we showed on the map before, uh, maybe um, the town of uh, Culbertson, the towns, uh, plural, of Culbertson and Wolf Point exist on the map by default, uh, but they're not labeled. So when you look at the map, you don't see them. You see uh, Haver and... Uh, what else is out there? Something else out by Haver and all the way over to Sydney. And it doesn't show much in between. But uh, Recon added those. Go straight. And uh, he's doing some work out there on Highway 12 to thin out the foliage a bit because I think as I commented uh, when I was driving out that way before that there's a lot of trees <laughs> in some places. And, uh, not necessarily realistic, there are a bit too many trees. Go straight. So he's working on thinning them out as part of this uh, expansion he's doing here. Nice buildings. I keep saying that, but. You get to travel through the Go straight. rural towns in the west, you know, that's what they look like. A little more sandstone usually, but... After 100 yards, turn left. Turn 
New yeah. Meadows, Boise. Oh yeah, this is Grangeville. Don't thought I tweaked it that earlier. Well, I haven't been down this stretch of road here in quite whoops, quite a while. This way. Back there, boys. You guys are gonna have to lean on each other. Yeah, I sure went up and down this stretch of road a bunch too when I first got this game. It's good low boy jobs up and down here from uh, long distance ones. Like I used to have my uh, my job filter, uh, I just had it set by price per distance, or per mile, or whatever. Price per distance, I think it is, with the highest at the top, but I would just go and get the high dollar loads wherever I could. And like I was saying, uh, most often that was going to be a low boy or a triple low boy or something. So I hauled that triple low boy all over the darn place. I like it too. I like the guy. No, I haven't hauled the uh, SCS triple low boy in quite a while. Probably the last time I did was... Oh. Not getting any jake here. There it goes. Turn it up a bit. See if this is the yeah road down there is kind of cool. I flew down there once and just kind of drove around a bit. Uh, you can do that. It's not a hidden road or anything, but it's kind of cool looking up at this elevated roadway above and everything. That's pretty good scenery in here too. This little stretch. Oh heck. You know, <laughs> these guys do a good job, SCS. Go straight. I'm uh, looking forward to oh darn. What's 145 supposed to have some changes to Southern California? I forget. Huh. I haven't heard anybody talking about it. I kinda thought that uh that California is going to come in like three stages, and we've had two of them now. I believe we've had two of them. Yeah, there's got to be one more to come for... Uh, 
down there. I'd like to see that area around Los Angeles get fixed up. That Franken style dude had a pretty cool thing here for this new meadows. But yards, turn left. I find his mods really prob problematic. They mess up a lot of stuff. Like you put them in, fine. But you're going to give up a lot. Things that either don't work or crash, or in the case of. Uh, What's that called? Uh, I'm forgetting now. Up uh, below a Soyuz in uh, BC, uh, in the US, there, it takes away a border crossing into Promods Canada, the Penticton one. So, I mean, or a Soyuz. Well, that was kind of annoying. So I kind of, I got a whole bunch of his stuff, I just unfortunately don't use it. It's kind of sad because I bought it, like, I mean, you pay for it. And not end up using it because it just causes problems. Kind of a bummer. But I mean, his attitude is kind of, well, it messes up ProMods Canada. Too bad. Holy cow, let's... Can't we all just get along here? <laughs> now, this corner up here is a little dicey, so we're gonna get over here. Maybe we'll stop any traffic that's coming the other way. Usually works like that if you get out in the other lane a bit. Go straight. Uh, we came close to those vehicles, so <laughs> you'll, uh, anybody coming the other way will know that it'll sense that you're in their lane and they'll stop. So if you're going around a corner like that, it's kind of a good tip, just keep right after 50 yards, go straight. Get out into the other lane a little bit, and they'll roll up, and go straight. you'll be able to get out in the oncoming lane and get your trailer around the corner. That's a little wild for having livestock on the back end here. It is up to the driver to get him there in good health. Another thing I like about flat deck and low boy, <laughs> the loads are pretty robust. And a lot of them you chain down and they ain't going anywhere.
on to your lug nuts back there, boys. Oh, goggles is in a hurry. This one because it's at the bottom of a hill. But, uh, we don't have, we got lots of power and not much weight, so it wouldn't matter in this case. Yeah, we're bypassing anyway. But yeah, you catch a break and get out here in traffic you got your 140,000 pounds on with your 625 horse king of the hill with no torque <laughs> this hill's a challenge not with my hot rod I mean that's an art of letting off the throttle on the way up Again, we aren't very heavy. Keep right. After 50 yards, go straight. Oh, we're almost there. I was just thinking we we're gonna finish this go one up straight. at twilight. But uh, we're all right. We'll be there real soon. Going to a cargo. Boise River. with the room lights up. I didn't realize that until now. I usually have just my little overhead light back there on. Go straight. I wonder how that's going to look in the video, if it's going to be terrible or not. I keep meaning to get a brighter bulb for up there. Set all these fluorescents on. Well, god darn it. I've ever uh, turned on this street. I've just, it's over there. I've, well, that's quite a building back there. I've only, uh, I think, driven up and down that street. Well, look at here. I gotta get a B double grain hopper going. Yeah, that's, that's, I gotta get that uh, Doker Legacy. I've got it. I just gotta configure one in this profile. Maybe do some B-double hard parking. That would be fun. You know what? I have a sneaking suspicion I can drive all the way around this yard. Let's do that. See if that makes this any easier. Oh, is it? Dude up there on the railing. Up to no good, I'm sure. Probably out there smoking a left-handed cigarette.
wonder how big a job this is like these guys that uh, do these place name mods like you, know, you got cargo written on the silos and it must be quite an undertaking to uh, change the name on everything I like it though instead of having the made up names like some of the made up names to me are just a little corny but I mean I get why they do it they don't have license to because they're making money off the game so they would have to license those names I guess probably the way it goes I got a forklift right away there so That's the way they roll with this game. Oops. Oh. Wanted to go this way a little sooner. My bad. Could have done that perfectly if I'd wanted to. I will done a better job. There we are. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, get these boys off of here. Oh man, that didn't pay very much for the distance. Let's uh, have a quick peek at that map again. I think I did just we did look at it. Yeah, Wolf Point, Culbertson, and this highway, oh, Highway 2. That's the one. I think this is where uh, Recon was going to work on making it look a little more realistic. And so we got that new in here. And where are we? Oh, that's Coeur d'Alene. Here. This was just added in this uh, version. And that um, place I was telling you about, uh, this um, Deer Ridge Valley is right here. If I looked on a real map, and Anaconda is down here. So that's where the skin is based. Anyway, um, yeah, we got another new subscriber today. So uh, welcome aboard. And uh, thank you all for following along and your subscriptions. It's great. And uh, I'll see if I can get this skin kind of topped up and I'll put a link in it to the video and uh, if you want to try it out you can. Take care guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.